Fournette. Fournette goes airborne. He's in. Touchdown, Jaguars. Tip and intercepted by Ramsey to close it out. It's over. The Jacksonville Jaguars have pulled off the upset of the playoffs. What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here. Here to talk about the NFL Draft, the 2019 NFL Draft, and the big news that has been circulating it all week long, and that is the fact that quarterback out of Oklahoma, Kyler Murray, has declared for the NFL Draft. And now Jags fans are thinking to themselves, Kyler Murray, that would be an interesting fit for the Jacksonville Jaguars. And now kind of everybody's taking their eye off their golden boy, Dwayne Haskins. So today I'm going to compare the two and see which one I'd rather draft and make sure you leave your comment down below who you would rather draft. So ladies and gentlemen in this video it is should the Jaguars draft Dwayne Haskins or Kyler Murray. Now first things first what we're going to be doing is comparing both of their stats out of college and they are very very similar. These two are both uh, two of the better quarterbacks in the NCAA this season. Kyler Murray, he tossed for around 4,300 yards, had about 50 touchdowns in eight interceptions. However, Dwayne Haskins, he got him in yards. He had 4,800 yards with 48 touchdowns and seven interceptions. So just going off of stats alone, it's hard to compare the two. They're obviously both great players, but as far as intangibles go, Dwayne Haskins, he's bigger. He can stand in the pocket more. He's not as mobile as Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray is mobile. He's not one of those scramblers like a Russell Wilson that just scrambles around the pocket trying to look and try to make a throw. Kyler Murray will run the ball if given the opportunity. And Kyler Murray is more of a runner than Dwayne Haskins. Something else he has more of than Dwayne Haskins is arm strength which is something you would not expect to see from a guy with such a small frame. The guy probably has the best arm in the NFL draft right now in 2019, and it could be a lot to do with the fact that he would be uh, a baseball player and throwing the ball all the way from the outfield to the infield. I mean, you kind of have to have some arm strength to do that, so that's not really a surprise that his arm strength is as good as it is as at the quarterback position um, in college football. So... He definitely has the better arm than Dwayne Haskins. Now, as far as pocket presence, pocket awareness, and a true you know, pocket passer, somebody that could get the ball out, deliver a good throw, I would still take Dwayne Haskins over Kyle Mur Kyler Murray in that sense. I think Kyler Murray makes better decisions. Both of them threw only single-digit interceptions uh, this season in college football, which is really, really good to see because you, know, you don't want a guy that's prone to turnovers. That's why I don't understand the people – that are really pressing for the Jags to get guys like Daniel Jones, Will Greer, Drew Locke. You know, they have double-digit interceptions. The only two quarterbacks, in my opinion, that are really worth taking, in, at least in the first round this year, are Dwayne Haskins and Kyler Murray now. Kyler Murray really fucked up a lot of draft boards, really fucked up a lot of people like Daniel Jones and the Drew Locks and the Will Greer's, like I said, because, you know, those three are mid-tier college quarterback and the good tier college quarterbacks are Dwayne Haskins and Kyler Murray like if you're a team searching for a quarterback those are the two you're gonna have to go out and get now that also bids the question as far as Kyle Mur Kyler Murray goes are the Jaguars gonna have to trade up to get Kyler Murray now in that case I really don't think the Jags need to trade up to get Kyler Murray I know there's there's been reports going around that obviously Cliff Kingsbury said if I had the number one overall pick, I'd select Kyler Murray. But things change. I don't think Kyler Murray is going to go number one overall to the Arizona Cardinals. I really don't. I know that there's been talks of mutual interest between Kyle, Kyler Murray and the Miami Dolphins, and we'll see how that progresses. But I think the Jags could stick at seven and still be able to select Kyler Murray. They might be able. They might have to move up just you know one or two spots maybe to get Murray to be their quarterback of the future. But, um, I mean, if they're looking to just kind of stick at seven and only trade up one or two spots, I think getting Kyler Murray is the smarter option for that. Now, if they want Dwayne Haskins, they're going to have to trade up everything to get him. You know what I'm saying? I think Dwayne Haskins personally is the better football player overall than Kyler Murray, but Kyler Murray has more of that excitement to him, and that's something that the Jags lack, and I think that's a big, big reason why a lot of fans want to draft a guy like Kyler Murray because of the excitement he brings because of the athleticism he brings you know no quarterback from Jacksonville has ever done that <clears throat> 
You know, I mean, you look at guys that, the, that we've had in the past, Blake Bortles, not exciting. I mean, Mark Brunel was probably the last exciting quarterback we ever had, and that was in the 90s, you know, and he's not a Hall of Fame or anything like that. You know, so Kyler Murray brings that excitement to Duval and really gets everybody excited to see what this young man can do. Even if he busts, I mean, you know, it's really pure excitement to see what this kid could possibly do. Now, the only thing that worries me is that if this offensive line again does not stay healthy in 2019-2020 season, Kyler Murray's going to get hurt because I don't think he's going to be that durable in the NFL, not with his happy feet and not with how small he is. That is the biggest knock on Kyler Murray, and a lot of people are denying it. You know, a lot of people are saying that's such a bad take to judge Kyler Murray off of his size, you know, off of his height. But is it really a bad take? Because, I mean, that 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 just makes you injury prone. And I know you can sit back, you can say Russell Wilson's this, Russell Wilson's that. Russell Wilson is built. You know, he's strong. He's, he's a bigger, you know, 5'8", 5'9", 5'10", however tall Russell Wilson is. I mean, he has put on the weight to make sure he can take those hits. If you look at Kyler Murray, especially right now coming out of college, he's a skinny dude. He's like Lamar Jackson without like a couple. He's like a couple inches shorter than my than Lamar Jackson, but the same size as Lamar Jackson. You know, he's he's a skinny boy, and you know if he takes a big hit by one of those defensive linemen, linebackers, anybody really on the defensive side of the ball, he might be shooken up, and he might be shooken up for a while. You know, uh, it's just a lot of scouts are saying you really need to avoid the size thing because it doesn't matter, but it's it still makes you nervous. You know, there's not a single person out there that. If we draft Kyler Murray and, you know, some of our O-linemen go down again like last year, you know, you're not going to say, man, Kyler Murray needs to be careful because he can get lit the fuck up by J.J. Watt, Jarrell Casey, you know, fucking Darius Leonard, everybody just from our division, you know. He can get lit up by one of those guys and he can get hurt. That's why I think I like Dwayne Haskins more because Dwayne Haskins, he's durable, he's bigger, he has good arm strength, he has all the intangibles that Kyler Murray has just without a little bit of excitement, just without a little bit, I mean, Kyler Murray just has a little bit more mobility in him than Dwayne Haskins does and, you know, Kyler Murray is the fun pick but Dwayne Haskins is the sensible pick. I think if you're the job wars and you want to get your quarterback really bad in this draft, it is between these two men. It's between Kyler Murray and Dwayne Haskins. And if you don't get one of those two quarterbacks, you're fucking up your franchise because the rest of those quarterbacks are mid-tier. If you want a quarterback that can go out there and win games, you're taking Dwayne Haskins or you're taking Kyler Murray. And honestly, in my opinion, I'd be fine with either. Um, Kyler Murray will bring a lot of excitement into Duval and a lot of people will be happy to see that come back to the city but i think Dwayne haskins has the ability to bring more victories to duval so with that being said i'm going to be taking Dwayne haskins like i said he's built better i think he has more of ability to win games straight up um than kyler murray kyler murray also uh, has the heisman to him he has the excitement factor to him but i think these are two young men that are both going to have a successful nfl career but in my opinion i would still take haskins over murray and that was, should the Jaguars draft Dwayne Haskins or Kyler Murray? What would you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook, at Drew Talks. Follow me on Twitter, at Trevon Pixley. Follow me on Instagram, at Trayvon Pixley. Also, if you're feeling oh so generous, you can go ahead and donate on Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash Tree Talks. Also, if you haven't yet, click that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel. Six days a week, ain't nobody out working me. Them's just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as always, you guys have a great day.